illustration 9 SC limited produces three products namely A B and C and they have given direct materials and other uh, cost uh, budgeted production maximum sale units and variable overage a direct labor in uh, department 1 is in short supply and in department 2 the company is uh, committed to engage the workers to the extent of the budgeted production if the product mix is changed uh, the company can engage additional direct labors required in a uh, department 2 at normal rates normal rates is uh, rupees 2 they have given here and then uh, if there is any uh, surplus labor hours uh, the company has to pay the idle wages to Uh, then first question is we have to prepare the statement showing the budgeted profitability and second one is uh, set optimal product mix and uh, work out the optimum profit after subtracting the idle time wages then uh, we have to find the minimum charges uh, if the company subcontract the uh, surplus labor hours in department 2 Uh, first we have to compute the budgeted profit and uh, contribution per labor hour in department 1 first one is selling price 75 105 and 60 next one is variable cost or uh, they directly given the direct material 24 16 and 12 for direct wages we have to calculate uh, like this department 1 rupees 4 per labor hour so rupees 4 into 3 hours rupees 4 into 5 and rupees 4 into 2.5 hours here 12 20 and then 10 next one is department 2 uh, rupees 2 per hour into 2 hours which is 6 rupees and then rupees 2 into 8 rupees 2 into 6 here 16 and 12 next one is variable overage and they have given that uh, in department 1 Variable overage is hundred uh, percentage of direct wages. Hundred percentage of direct wages. See direct wages is twelve, twenty, ten, and in department two fifty percentage of direct wages. A fifty percentage of six is three, and eight six. now you add the variable cost you will get 57 80 and then 50 next one is contribution uh you subtract selling price and the uh, variable cost 18 25 and 10 next one is contribution per labor hour in department 1 uh, we have to consider only department 1 because uh, in department 1 one only uh, there is a shortage in labor hours so 18 rupees divided by 3 hours 25 divided by 5 hours 10 divided by 2.5 hours you will get 6 5 and 4 uh next one is priority and uh, this is the first one second and third next budgeted units are 10000 units they have given in question 10000 units 12000 units and 20000 units next one is total contribution 
uh, you multiply 10,000 into 18 you will get 1 lakh 80 thousand 3 lakhs and here 2 lakhs and the total is 6 lakh 80 thousand then uh, subtract the fixed cost fixed cost is 5 lakhs the profit is 1 lakh 80 thousand Next we have to prepare statement showing optimum mix and profit at that mix. Uh, we need number of units. Uh, for that we need some calculations. Working notes. Uh, first we have to know the number of hours in department 1. Hours in department 1 equal to 10,000 units into 3 hours plus 12,000 units into 5 hours then plus 20,000 units into 2.5 hours 30,000 plus 60,000 plus 50,000 uh, and the number of hours is 1,40,000 hours next number of hours in department 2 10,000 into 3 the same uh, calculation only uh, plus 12,000 into 8 plus 20,000 into 6 totally 2,46,000 hours department 1 and then department 2 uh, we are going to find the uh, hours which is uh, utilized for a b and c first available hours 1,40,000 hours and then 2,46 hours uh, then uh, which product uh, is in first priority it is A so minus hours utilized for A uh, see first uh, you have to calculate uh, maximum sale units into hours that is 12,000 into 3 hours equal to 36,000 and here 12,000 into 3 hours the same 36,000 hours you subtract you will get 1,4,000 hours and here 2,10,000 next utilized for B uh, 16,000 units into 5 hours equal to 80,000 and uh, here um, 16,000 into 8 hours equals to 1,28,000 you subtract uh, 24,000, 82,000. Uh, next, uh, we have to calculate the number of units of C. Number of units of C equal to 24,000 divided by 2.5 is 9,600. So, 9,600 into 2.5 is... 24,000 and here 9,600 into 6 hours is 57,600 again you subtract I will get nil balance here and here 24,400 it is the idle hours Uh, based on the working note, uh, you put the number of units 12,000 
नेक्स्ट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट एटीन ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड हियर टेन देन यू कैलकुलेट द टोटल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन यू मल्टीप्लाई अ नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स विद द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट टू लैक्सटीन थाउजेंड फोर लैक्स नाइंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड you add these three you will get uh, 7 lakh 12000 and then fixed cost fixed cost is 5 lakhs and you subtract 2 lakh 12000 it is profit next we have to subtract the cost of idle wages idle wages in department 2 um in question they have uh, clearly given that uh, we have to multiply with uh, normal wages that is rupees 2 so 2 uh, 24400 that is idle uh, hours into rupees 2 48800 Again, you subtract. You will get one lakh sixty-three thousand two hundred. It is the profit after idle wages. Next, third one is higher charges equal to labor cost. Plus variable overhead. Variable cost is rupees two plus rupees two into fifty percentage. Ah, uh, you will get two plus one. That is rupees three per hour. 